this is to illustrate a point on how to deal with a strong coming, a very strong force. Okay. For example, let's say in an arm wrestle situation. Okay. Now this won't work if you are sitting down on the table um, and with, with hand held on the table or whatever, because like that is really good strength. You can't manipulate the opponent's balance and so on, right? But this is actually quite useful. Um, it will make you look amazingly strong, but really, you're not really using any force, okay? Let's say if we're struggling to do an arm wrestle, okay? Now, if the opponent is stronger than me, okay, I will lose if I struggle at the arm level. So what I want to do is this, okay? Um, at the moment I contact the arm, I control the entire balance, okay? Which means that like if check is to issue any force, right? This is too late, right? The moment he wants to achieve any force, I would actually be controlling his balance in such a way that like he can keep trying. Like he cannot he cannot actually balance, right, to gain necessary force to move me. And then from here I can very easily win because I'm not even using um, much force at all. I'm actually the opponent can't balance, so therefore like, they can't issue the force. Okay. Now what if I'm already in a losing situation? Okay. Now, if I want to affect his balance by controlling his his jing uh, uh, that I mentioned before, this won't work too well anymore because his center of gravity is virtually right on top of me. So even if I manage to reflect and manipulate the jing yuan, right, um, I would not be able to do much because his weight is still falling on top of my arm. Okay. So in situations like this, I need to actually take the opponent's force elsewhere, right? So that his balance is completely gone again before I retaliate, okay? Now the last thing I want to do when this happens is to move my arm out because like, if I move my arm out um, to take his balance out, the opponent can actually sense that I am taking his balance out there and he can actually retaliate, change his own dynamics, right, and take advantage of the situation. So what I want to do is this, like, let's say if someone's leaning over me, I would actually, like, take the power out that way, but actually without moving my hands, okay? As soon as I move my arms, like, I would lose, right? But from here, I actually take taken the force out there already, now I'm quite comfortable, right, and now, I can retaliate, okay? So this has actually got to, a lot to do with my mind. In my mind, as if I have taken my arm all the way out there, and I'm going in this big arc, right? Although my hand is stuck here, okay? Again, once more, the wrong one. That doesn't work. Right, the right one. Very easy, okay? Now, this is the same as when someone is pushing onto you like this. Okay, let's say you push a bit harder. Okay, if I want to move my arm to throw check out, that wouldn't work. Okay, because like check knows what I'm doing and he can follow me. Okay, so what I want to do is, I, although my arm will probably move, right, but I'm actually like, let me can push a bit harder. I can actually take the force out, out of me, right, take the force out of me and then move him this way without the opponent knowing exactly where I have taken the force to.